Hey everyone, Jerry from Llama Index here, and today we'll be going over an advanced RAG technique called CRAG or corrective RAG. Here we'll use Llama Cloud as the main knowledge base, along with Tavily as a web search tool to build a corrective RAG workflow. If you're not familiar with uh, CRAG, it's a recent paper by Xu Tian and other authors where it basically augments uh, regular retrieval from a vector database with additional web search if the retrieved context is irrelevant. And so there's basically a retrieval evaluator that assesses the you know, quality of the retrieved documents. And if it's not high enough, if, it, if the confidence level is not high, then we'll augment um, you know, the retrieved context with large scale web search. So it's a pretty simple technique, but it's actually a very nice example of how something can be a little bit more agentic than your standard RAG pipeline. So you're using LLMs in the loop to basically dynamically decide you know, which data sources to uh, query depending on the given state of things. So we'll implement that, you know, uh, that part with Llama index workflows, and we'll use Llama Cloud as the knowledge base along with Tavli. You can find uh, the flow of how this works in this diagram right here. So starting with the query, um, we'll first hit our retriever from Llama Cloud, which will index you know, some a bank of documents. In this example, we just use the Llama 2 paper as an example. And then we'll return the context and basically do our relevancy check and see if you know, any of the context is irrelevant to the query. If it is, if it contains irrelevant context, then we'll have some sort of you know, conditional uh, logic, which will um, see if there's any context that's irrelevant. And if so, um, call web search. And if not, basically pass the existing context directly to the summarization service. And this service will uh, aggregate all the context, whether it's from the web or from the existing knowledge base and synthesize the answer. So let's get into it. We'll first go into Llama Cloud and you can see here, you know, we are going to create a new index. Um, so we'll name this index Llama 2 paper. I'll drag and drop the Llama 2 paper into this window. We'll configure the data sync and then uh, configure the embedding model. For the purposes of this, I'm going to just show you the high level steps uh, because we already have an index created. And then for the chunking options, I typically like to do page level chunking with uh, no additional segmentation. And so uh, without setting a fixed chunk size, we'll just set each chunk as a page. So after you've created this index right, and entered the right credentials, we'll go back and take a look at an existing created index. And this basically represents the Llama 2 paper. Take a look and you, know, you can see that Llama Cloud helps you visualize the data flow um, the parsed representation of this data, and then also the chunks, which is on a per page level. Cool. So let's go back, and then we are going to uh, run through this notebook. We'll first do the setup. Um, the next piece is if you want, uh, whoops, I'm going to go back into this notebook. Um, you can also set up an integration that we have with Arise Phoenix, and this is just one line of code. Um, you can see an example of what this looks like right here um, after entering some credentials, and all your traces will get logged to the Phoenix interface. And this is exactly what the interface looks like. I've already run some previous runs, but I'll run through it again and show you what this looks like as a trace. So now let's get into the relevant steps. Um, the first is retrieval. So given the query, we are going to retrieve the most relevant nodes from the Llama Cloud Retriever, you know, through vector search. Um, number two is relevance valuation. So uh, we're going to look at every single one of the relevant nodes and use an LLM to determine which ones are relevant to the query. Number three is if a node is actually irrelevant, then we're going to trigger web search through Tavli to try to augment the query or to try to augment the retrieved context. We're going to try to transform the query into something that's suitable for web search and try to pull in the context from there. And then, you know, whether or not web search is triggered uh, for number four, we are going to pull in all the context so far and then combine them, dump them into the LM prompt window and generate a response. We have three main events, a retrieve event, which is the output of retrieval, web search, if uh, we decide to call the web search tool, and then the final uh, query event, which is um, uh, basically to, to, to combine everything and synthesize the final response. 
So we'll take a look at the code of the workflow right here. Um, we'll skip the imports, but basically here is an example of the relevancy prompt grading where, you know, given as a grader, your job is to evaluate the relevance of a document retrieved in response to a user's question. We feed in the context string, the retrieved document. We also feed in the, the query string. And then the decision is to basically determine how relevant the document is. And so to answer using yes or no. Um, and we want to answer uh, how relevant, it, whether it is relevant to the user question. The next step is to determine, you know, given the input, um, if we decide to do web search to try to transform that query into something that's more well suited for web search. Um, so if you need to transform something into a set of keywords to pull in information from the web. The corrective RAG workflow is uh, actually pretty simple. I think there's three main steps. Um, you just feed in the index, the tabli uh, API key as input, and um, an LLM. Um, and then the first step is retrieval. So, you know, as the first event uh, is passed in, we are going to retrieve from the vector database, um, or more specifically, the Llama Cloud Retriever we defined over your data. And then we are going to um, emit a retrieved event containing the retrieved nodes. The next step is evaluating relevance. So we're going to look at the retrieved nodes, and then for every node in the retrieved nodes, we are going to um, degrade whether or not it is relevant. Um, and as uh, uh, we are going to look at all the relevancy scores um, at the end, after everything has been graded. And if there exists a no, then we are going to trigger web search. Otherwise, we are going to um, go straight to the query event, which triggers final response synthesis. If we decide to trigger web search, um, then we are first going to transform this, the query using the, uh, the transform query template. Um, so here, you know, we're calling the LLM, getting back the text, and then calling the Tavli uh, tool as a web tool to basically try to find the relevant results. And so notice if, if there is no web search, the query event takes in the relevant text, the retrieve text, and the search text is blank. Um, if there is web search, then you know it feeds in both of this information. And lastly, you know we feed in both of this information and we synthesize the final answer. This is again a pretty simple example, but actually shows you how uh, workflows lets you pretty easily define this conditional logic. And so instead of having to, you know, kind of put that code somewhere else in like the edge of a graph, for instance, here you just write like an if else statement and decide to emit different events. And you just have steps that listen to different types of events. And so this will, you know, implicitly trigger if that type of event is emitted. So we've defined the workflow class, and now we are just going to initialize it from this llama uh, like index that we already created. We are going to initialize the uh, corrective rag workflow. Um, we can actually choose to visualize it, if you will. And so I'm going to um, show you what this looks like in just a bit. This is just an example of the uh, event. And so, you know, you have um, the start event and then you call retrieval, it emits a retrieve event. And then depending on whether it's relevant, it emits web search, which calls web search, or it just goes straight to the final response synthesis. And then this gives you the final response. So pretty simple workflow. Now going back here, Let's finally run through some example queries and actually look at how they're traced. So we'll ask, how was Llama 2 pre-trained? Let's ask this question. And then you can see, you know, we put this in verbose mode, so it's actually logging um, stuff in the, in the Jupyter Notebook. And we'll take a look at the trace as well. So you can see it's calling retrieve event, query event, and then that actually is it. It's able to find the information from the paper. Now let's ask a completely random question, which is where does you know, UA1 fly? Nothing to do with Llama 2, uh, but let's see what happens. We call retrieve event, and then you see it calls web search event. So clearly I found that the existing context is irrelevant to the query, and then calls query event, and then you can see it flies from SF to Singapore. Let's take a look at um, the Phoenix interface or through Llama trace. 
to actually see, you know, this is the most recent trace that was logged and to actually see what was going on throughout all the steps. You can see, you know, through the integration with Phoenix, um, you can see every, the, um, uh, every span basically, uh, or the, the steps correspond to different spans within the trace. Um, so here you have the retrieve event where there is like an input. Um, you, see, you can see the start event and you can see the output represented as a JSON as well. If you go into the actual retrieval call, you can actually directly get back um, the information or the documents. So if you, uh, you can, at the retriever, uh, you can see the input um, and the documents that are returned. Now, when you grade the relevance of the context, you can see the LLM inputs and outputs. And so here you can see the open AI calls, which is feeding in this entire thing as a prompt. And then the LLM output, where pretty much all the context is irrelevant. The next step is web search. You know, this is logged and you can see the open AI completion is basically just about refining the query. And so it went from, you know, whatever the question is to looking at flight paths and destinations to try to find the right information. And then the last piece is, um, the last step is, is uh, synthesizing the final response. And this part actually is relatively involved because you know you do the retrieval and then, and then you actually need to synthesize the final answer. Um, the summary index does some magic tricks under the hood to pretend like you don't have a context window and goes through this thing called a response synthesizer. The response synthesizer basically splits up your context and batches, hierarchically summarizes them and gives you back a final response. Great. And with that, that's basically uh, all for today. And so we'll see you next time and hope you enjoyed the Corrective Rag video.